Oh man, it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> it's pretty outside today, man. It's fire. I figure I think I'm just gonna start chilling in the morning, take it easy, get ready, go do what I gotta do, and then talk. Um, every morning, I just don't even care. I think this is the most important thing for me right now. Um, and then I'll go do some work uh, a little bit later. I try and keep these talks a little shorter in the morning. Um, man, I painted I painted one last night of fire. It's the one I was talking about. Um, I don't know, I may do a little bit more work to it today. Now that it's dried and I can um, layer it some more. Um, this one may actually take me a couple of days to get it the way I want it. It looks good now, but I want it to be, um, I don't know, a little bit, um, I don't know, maybe not. It looks good now. Um, I actually may leave that one alone and then re start a new one tonight. <clears throat> just depending on what my day goes like. Who knows? I, I never know. It's so crazy because I just never know. Like, I never know who I'm going to meet. Uh... <laughs> I never know whose house I'm going to end up at. Um, I never know who I'm going to be listening to today. Uh, it's just weird how it works. Um, it's super cool. It's super cool to live like this, man. Um, it really does make me happy. And, like I said, everything points to me living like this forever. Um, at least the people part. You know, and maybe, you know, and even if I became a life coach, like a lot of it, I I don't want to do um, this every week type of crap, man. Or like, that makes zero sense to me. Like regular therapy, it makes zero sense to me. Um, it just, uh, man, for, especially for me, like I remember when I went, like the way I am, like I forget. Just because maybe it wasn't a really a priority. Um, but like, people got lives, you know. And the way I've always lived mine is kind of by the seat of my pants, to be honest with you. And um, I like it that way. I, uh, I mean, I plan a little bit. But I know I don't have that structure. I know I need some structure. Um, and that's what some of this is. Like, me kind of spontaneously created my morning, but in a structured way, like in a structured window of time. Um, not in a hurry. And I think that's what, um, a lot, like when I wake up, I'd be mad. And, uh, and you know, I wouldn't want to talk, I'd be mad. And now I wake up, I'm happy. Um, it's so weird. It makes zero sense. I wish people could understand. I wish people could really see. Because um, I question it all the time. Like, like how or why? Because this is this isn't this isn't the Cody of old. Like, he'd be pissed off for a couple hours, and you know, until he got in his truck and and um, could listen to some music and like mellow himself out. I don't even know what I was mad at. That's what's so funny. It's like I don't even know why I was angry. I I just was. <laughs> <laughs> like I had no reason to be angry. Like now, looking back at it, it's like who? Like I, I don't know. I got all these skills. I got work. I got a house. I got a roof over my head. I got food. Like who cares? Like I got all these tools, power equipment. We got all this material stuff that I don't even use. It's so funny. Actually, over the last couple of years, I've been downsizing everything. Um, like, uh, especially like clothes, because I only wear, you know, I wear all the same shirts, like all my under armor shirts. Um, so like I, I, you know, got rid of all my cotton stuff, and then same with socks. I need to throw about out a bunch of socks because I only wear one brand of socks now, and. Um, they're all like running socks. I wear them every day. 
um, underwear, all the same underwear, like, uh, um, dude, it's so funny, I was thinking about it today, like, my socks have an X on them, um, all my underwear have an X on them, and they're all different brands, and then, uh, like, all my shirts have X's on them, um, It's like the majority of everything I wear has X's on it. I don't even understand why. It's so weird. Um, it's crazy. I don't know why X's are so cool to me. Or they're just like, they just, I don't know, they're on everything that I have. Um, for some reason. But uh, X marks the spot. I don't know, man. That's cool. I like talking to myself. Um, I really do. Like for once. Uh, instead of it, because I can focus better, because I'm focusing on one thought. Yeah, my may, my mind may be um, thinking about other stuff, but I, I seem so much clearer now. Um, and I can, I may bounce around, um, but I'm so much in more control of my brain right now um, when I'm talking. And it's calming to me. Um to just let it all out I guess I just I just had so much in there and uh now I'm like my body's and my brain and, and it's starting to go you know what well if you're gonna talk we're gonna start you know put it in a linear fashion for you um and then you know the next day you can talk about it and then get it done with and, and, and go on um And understand that Rome wasn't built in a day, and um, today is going to be perfect. If you need to face stuff, face it. If you don't, don't. Like, yesterday Yesterday was rough, man. Um, I feel good today, though. Like, I, I understand again, and um, I needed yesterday. Uh, I needed it. I needed to see... You know, and maybe, maybe that was the feeling that I had, um, but just all the time, and I just got used to it, and, and uh, the, the feeling of being unworthy, and not enough, and, um, it makes zero sense now, but in the moment, like, God, it, it rules you, and um, it floors you, and it paralyzes you, and, uh, you can't think of anything other. And like no matter what you do, like you're sitting in it until you can um really until you can just talk it all out and let it exist, like get it out in the world. Um so I guess since I just kept everything in for so long, now I'm just trashing it out. I'm like emptying my trash bin and my trash bin was big, bro. It was all of me. And that's whether the information inside of me was good or bad. That that has nothing to do with anything. It was just too much in there. Too much. And, uh, man, it's weird. What's weird is, like, I, uh, man... I've been really noticing, like, when I wake up and I'm trying to do my gratitude, like, as soon as I open my eyes and I do my gratitude, but, like, I'll, I'll, I have a thought, and it's weird, man, it, it makes zero sense. And then the same when I go to bed, I have, like, one thought, and, um, I think about, one person every single time and it's so weird because I don't I don't really um during the day I don't think about them much um I do but I not much it's just kind of like a constant thought in my head but um but I do it about everybody I do it about a lot of people and, and constantly like someone will come on my heart and I just you know sit with it and then you know maybe I'll text them and that's why I text people the way I do man um I know people don't text me back in return or, or stuff like that but I always just feel for people, and um, 
I try and text him when the moment comes, like when I feel it. And um, but it's just it's like zero sense to me. I don't get it. Like I guess it's my subconscious or something, but I don't know, man. I don't know what it is because. I don't know, man. People just... I love people so much. And now that I'm focusing on me, I still love people a lot. And they still take up a lot of my time in my head. And, um... I just really want the best for people. Um... And I just hope that they're doing the best that they can. And they're happy, to be honest with you. I just hope people are happy. Um... Because I lived the way I did for so long, and it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. And I just I just want people to be happy, whether I'm in their life or not. Like, I just want the best. I just want the best for people. Because they deserve it. They're worthy of, of being happy. It's so weird. What's up, buddy? You can come talk to me, probably. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If you need me, come on, buddy. I'll holler at you. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. People out, people already at the park. I, I was gonna go talk at the park. I like it there because I get to see nature and uh, oh man, the clouds today are beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Like, I get to sit here and look at them. Like. How how does it work? I remember I was like in this thing called Pathfinders when I was younger. That was super cool and good for me. Um, it was cool, man. It gave me a little bit of a purpose, and 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 I got to be with people. And I loved talking to the adults, like when I was younger. Like I remember anything we did, I would be right behind them. Like I just they were cool to me. But then again, like I was probably searching for, you know those adult type people and um i've always just been um yeah because they just had so much more knowledge than me and they were um i just loved watching them and i even remember when i was younger like i i always saw two i always saw like the adult version and then i saw the child version and i loved watching it um because it's like that i didn't know it then now now right now in this moment i'm going man like we're all that way we all have, I guess, responsibilities, and we have to be adults and um, make harder decisions, I guess. Um, but not really, I think. Not really. But that's what the world grooms us to. And um, But then again, like, we can backpack and having fun, doing stuff, like, and, and um, you see the kid come out, and it's just, it was beautiful. Um, it was beautiful. I remember, yeah, I went to, like, church camp. One year, and um, we went to King's Island for like three days or four days or something like that. And um, I remember the last day, uh, they have a huge fountain in the middle at the very beginning of the place. And um, we uh, went up to the dude and, and asked, we asked our pastor, like, dude, we're going to jump into this fountain, man. And he's like, well, I'm not going to tell you, you can do it. Oh, you can't do it. <laughs> you see, you know, he's like, I'm not going to tell you. Either way, I'm going to walk over here. And, you know, you got to do what you want to do. <laughs> I was like, that's fire, man. That's cool, man. Like, he understood that, like, you got to have fun as a kid. And, like, no one's fixing to get hurt. Like, nothing really bad is going to happen. Um, like, he's like, I can't, you know, I can't be part of it because, you know, I'm the little pastor buddy and uh <laughs> he's like i'm not gonna you know whatever dude. i'm gonna go over here <laughs> and that's what i do with a lot of people now man like a lot of times i'll be like man i'm not gonna i'm not partaking i'm not gonna agree or disagree um but have fun do what you think is fun like you know there's repercussions to it but uh But have fun. You only live once, man. Maybe. Who knows? At least in this body. And uh, do what you want to do, man. 
But we did, we jumped in that thing, and by the time we got out, there was security everywhere, and we had to go into a room, and had to sign a paper that we were banned from there. <laughs> well, most of us were under 18. I think there was one kid that was like 18, but he didn't get in trouble. Like, he just got banned. Um, but it was fun. I still remember. Like, he, that was the best part, was he was just like... Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. You guys do what you want. To. <laughs> and I think about that now in my real life. Like, um, I talk to these people. I talk to some people, and I can't explain it, man. I really can't. And um, I never take sides. It's weird. It's like ingrained in me not to take sides. Um, as much as I can, and I try and do it, like, I'll tell one person, like, yeah, maybe you should do this, and you should think about yourself first, and then I'll tell the other person, like, yeah, you know, maybe you should think about yourself first, however, you got another party involved, like, you got to think of them, too, when you, when your actions, and, um, you know, it's bigger than you, you made this commitment, and, and whatever, and, and, um, you're still worthy, you're still a human being, but you need to, uh, you also got to be happy, and, and you can't be lying to the other person. Like if you got if you got something to say, say it. Um, I guess. I don't know. I'm not. I don't pick sides. Um, I just don't. Because both sides. Has, I mean, that's one thing I learned is like your emotions are valid, and the way you feel is valid. It's always valid, and the and and the reason why I was like I was. Um, for 35 years is because mine wasn't valid. Um, I was never taught that my perception was valid. Only other people's were valid. And that messes you up, man, because cause then you don't have a voice and you don't even know who you are. And, and then you second guess yourself. And then you think that everything that's coming up in you is not valid and, and not worthy. And it's so messed up, it's so wrong, especially for a little kid. And I'm I'm actually getting better at it. Um, especially little kids, like I watch them and they're watching all these YouTubes and TikToks, and then they want to they want to dress like them, and they I want to go buy this stuff, and and I gotta catch myself, and I'm like, you know, honestly, your parents shouldn't let you spend all your time watching that stuff. However, they do, and so now you think that you want to be like them those people on TV or YouTube all the time and whatever you know it is valid I just I just let down because usually I was pretty critical on kids um, I used to be and um, now I'm just like man it doesn't matter I guess as long as I show them love and like just keep living my authentic life and I don't know, man. It sucks being a kid sometimes, man. Because you're trapped in a world that has no, like that's not yours, and you're trying to figure it out, figure out who you are, and and yeah, with technology now, like you don't even you're just whatever you spend your time with. Like you're, wa I'm watching these kids mold themselves into whatever they watch, and spend their time watching. And it's kind of heartbreaking. Um, but then again, it's like, that's what makes you. That's what made me. I, I mean, I'm a chameleon. And uh, I've taken so much from all these interactions with people, man. And, like, even fa phrases that they say, like, people, random people say, like, and now I use them. I like them. Or I even, like, mimic the way that they say it. Um, it's funny, like... <laughs> This girl said Biden, Biden, the other day, like super country. I loved it. I loved it so much. Cause she don't even talk country, but that, when she said Biden, I uh, I melted. <laughs> I was like, that sounds so good. That's cool. It's perfect. But I love people. Like they surprise me. They make me happy.
like as we're all just products of our environment and um I guess when you become more aware, like you can choose what environment you're in and then that that will shape you. So I'm by myself, so I don't even know what I'm turning into, bruh. I have no idea. I do say bruh a lot. But one girl says it all the time, like, and um, I like it. Now it's kind of rubbed off on me. Bruh. Um, I can't stop saying it. <laughs> I just integrated it into my life and I just took a little bit from everyone everyone it's so cool man it's so cool and I'm a you know it's super weird I, I just I don't know one day maybe if I build this build this up and like I would love to have like I said a podcast that'd be cool man maybe I'll get some people um, to talk just about who I used to be man it would be very embarrassing, and um, I'd probably be ashamed of a lot of it, but uh, just so I can have some more credibility out there. Um, and honestly, it's going to be different for everyone, because cause I, I was always different with everyone. Anyways, like we all of us are, because we're all comfortable, and we all learn like what works with other with certain people and how we... You know, get the best results with certain people, and um, I don't know. It'd be weird. I do wish I would quit saying that, but um, which I can't do it now. But I think I think I would have loved to truly. Um, just sit down with my mother and just let her talk and um, give her perception of me, especially as I grew up. I would just like, like for her, I would like to sit in front of her, read all her cues, her physical cues, and listen to her talk about what she perceived me to be, kind of like in a timeline fashion. <clears throat> um, that would have been cool. That would have been super cool. Um, it never happened now, but uh, that would have been super cool. And I think she would have been the only one that give me like um, the, the big timeline. Uh, I can't do it with my brothers and sisters because. Um, <sighs> I mean, they were they were in their own worlds too, and um, so they were <clears throat> super focused on themselves. And um, I don't know, maybe my little brother could do it. I think um, my older brother definitely. No nah, man. Um, and then like my sister, like uh, like we was talking the other night about me playing baseball, and she was like, "I don't even remember ever coming to see you play baseball." And then she told me she was sorry if she didn't. But that doesn't really matter. Um, but. <clears throat> I do think that. Um, we definitely need to acknowledge things that we need to be sorry for. And as we go and become more aware and, and we start seeing things with new eyes, like, and uh, you realize that you did do wrong, I mean, and if you have opportunities to apologize, um, do it. Now, first of all, it's for yourself, but, um, you know, second, if you can do it to the person um, and you truly mean it, like, that's worth it. Uh, it helps you grow. Um, it helps you become... Just a better version of yourself and know that whatever happened back then was it it is what it is. It was perfect and, and you learn your lesson. It was for a lesson. And maybe it took twenty years for you to understand that lesson. But uh now you, at least you're aware of that lesson and uh, you can do your best to not to not do it again. You know?
I don't know, tomorrow's Sunday, and, um, it's so weird, because I've got different thoughts in my head about all of this, but, um, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still like just really thinking about just walking away from everything. Um, really, I really am. Cause that would just, I mean, I can go be a server or something. Who cares? Like, um, I don't know, man. It's it's super scary to me. Um, it's super scary just to uh, do something different. But um, man, I I don't. I see the risk is like, uh, man, just worth it, because it because it's gonna just it's a new adventure, right? It's a new chapter in a book. Um. I don't, I don't want to keep the reoccurring theme that I had for 35 years. Because there's too many things that come with that reoccurring theme, you know. Because the old Cody is there. Um, I just don't. I don't want any part of it. don't want any part of it. and it's not the people the people are cool um it's mostly just like my day-to-day -day life like i don't um i just don't want that and it's not even stressful really um I just get, I get calls, I go, I take care of it, and I'm done. Like, it's that simple, but I don't, maybe I need more than that now. Maybe it's just not a, it's not a challenge anymore. Like, it's just not fulfilled. There's no fulfilling in it for me. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Change of scenery, maybe. I did get a text this morning um, that I needed, and I appreciate it. And it's kind of pitiful that I need some. Like I said, I need um, some external reassurance. Um, I think because um, it's really just nothing I've really had ever my whole life. Um, other than that people keep calling me back to do their work. Like that, I guess that's reassurance that whatever I'm doing it's evidently is enough. <sighs> to keep people calling me back to do their work. Um, but it's cool to have someone reach out and... and um, Gonna tell me that I'm not crazy. And then if this is what I really feel, then then just you got it. That helps me a lot. Makes me feel good. <sighs> Makes me feel good. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know, 
I mean, everything can change in a second. So, um, I'm kind of hoping it does. <laughs> that would make it easier. <laughs> that makes it so easy for me. If I could just see one um, fruits of my labor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. I, I need to think about it. But, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's perception-based um, fruits of your labor, right? Um, and I would, I would be more so talking about, like, my art. I want to see fruits of my labor with art. Um, I see the fruits of my labor from talking. Um... Fruits of my labor as soon as I changed my mom's passing to gratitude. That, that was instant. Uh, that was weird. It just instantly, I was instantly happy from that point on. Like, even though I have some ups and down days, you know, um, I instantly saw the fruit, the, the anger was gone. Um, it was so weird. It makes zero sense, bro. Zero sense. I still, like, I remember I, uh, it happened. <laughs> It happened, my mom passed, and then, um, like, they had group therapy that night. Well, my mom's funeral was on a Monday, and so I had group therapy Monday night, and he, the guy, he, he's like, uh, you, you gonna come tonight? You, I was like, no, dude, that's like, it makes zero sense, dude. That's like, I'm burying my mom at 3 o'clock, bro. And then we come to group therapy at 6? That's stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It makes zero sense. Um... And then, like, the next week, I was like, I wasn't going to go the next week either. I was like, screw this, it's stupid. And I don't remember why I went. Something came up, and I was like, you know, F it. Let's, I'll just go. And uh, I was happy, though. Um, I was happy all week um, in a weird way. Um, like I said, because as soon as I changed it to gratitude, it, it's, it just changed, it's, and I reshaped it, right? I, I reshaped my perspective on all of it. And um, I went to group therapy, and I was happy, dude. And we kind of we kind of delved through that night, and, um, we talked about, we didn't even talk about my mom, um, but I ended up talking about, uh, like, dads or whatever, and I was like, you know, I don't really care about mine, um, I don't, he wasn't really there, um, you know, and maybe I got, I had some bitterness in him, and I probably still... You know, whatever, I love him, and I, I, I did write a letter of forgiveness or whatever for him, and I, you know, he did whatever, it's like, not good or bad, um, we had to deal with the repercussions, whatever, but I do, I do, he was adopted, so I do kind of have a little bit like, like, bro, you were supposed to help me, and, um, so maybe, I, yeah, I, I definitely felt abandoned by him, um, but, uh, Whatever now, I just kind of don't deal with it. Like, I, I forgive him and um, just move on. That's kind of hard, but... Uh, and he may never understand it. And um, to me, it's like I had so many... The, the point is, I had so many dads growing up. So many. And uh, I've been adopted by so many people. So many families. Been super lucky. Super lucky and blessed, man. But whatever, that night we ended up talking about, you know, that. And I was talking about a person. And, um... And that's what we ended up talking about all night. Mostly just, like, how uh, people took me in, man. And they never treated they they never treated me any different. I don't know why I uh I felt so different at home or when you know, I don't know. But when I was with these other people's families, they never treated me any different, man. They just accepted me as as their own. It's beautiful. And I'm so grateful.
And you know, and I, and I picked up traits from everybody. And then I took, I got rid of the bad ones. And I, like, if I didn't like them, then I knew I didn't want to do that. And the good traits, I would, I would keep. Um, but whatever. So whatever. I was kind of happy. I, I dealt through, I dealt through that stuff that night. And um, but I was still happy. And um, I think I, I went the next week again. And I, I kind of just talked about like how I reshaped my life and how I'm freaking happy now. Like for real. Like I'm really happy. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense. There's no reason why I should be happy. Um, in the big picture, like there's no reason. Like I'm not happy my mom's gone. I'm not happy about that technically, but but I reshaped my perspective and I'm focusing on on the 35 years I had with her, not that she's gone forever. Um. My energy was different, but, uh, you know, kind of like at the end of the night, I, I told them, I was like, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be here much longer. Um, I don't, I don't really need this group therapy, um, and I feel like, uh, I feel like everything is just like, is in therapy for me it was like telling me I'm wrong and uh, that I, you can't be happy or that you're not fixed and I, and I said I was not that I'm not that I'm fixed I just have a new perspective and I don't want to come here and try and relive this stuff every week that makes zero sense to me if I want to overcome something I have to overcome and move forward right and um, like, why would I keep putting myself in a situation that just keeps breaking me over and over again Like that makes zero sense to me that's stupid to me and then me pay somebody for that even dumb, like even dumber, and I mean, I even alluded to like you said when I, I want to fix them, when I want to fix them, I don't want to fix them for four years. Um, like that's not, I've just never been that guy. To each his own. You got to do what you got to do, man. Um, and I understand people ain't like me either. Um, but like I said, when Cody makes up his mind, Cody makes up his mind. It's stupid. You ain't stopping me, bro. And um. But I have to make up my mind on my own. I can't. People can't make me make my mind. That it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm just too much of a rebel, and then I, uh, I think you got authority over me, and I'm just gonna rebel, rebel, rebel. And um, so whatever. By the end of that night, like, I remember one girl. She was like, uh, she goes, "You just don't. It just. I got this feeling that it's not real." Right, that it's not authentic or something, and I was like, oh, okay. I was like, whatever, and I took it to heart, and um, so I was like, all week I was just like, I need to, I need to check myself, all week, I need to make sure that this, what I'm doing is not an act, what I'm doing, what I feel is real, um, um, and so I uh. I, I dealt I, all week, man. I was, you know, people don't understand, dude. Um, man, I cried so much more than I ever cried my whole life. Like, I'd be cutting grass and just bawling. And um, and I was doing things using gratitude. And I, I walked away from my older brother. And, um, you know, that hurt. Even if it didn't look like it hurt, it still hurt. And uh, pretty bad. But, but every time it would come up, you know, I, I would whatever, right, forgiveness stuff, and, and, you know, and honestly, I got nothing, he didn't do anything wrong, I didn't do anything wrong, just different perspectives, you know what I'm saying, and, um, but it sucks that you can't be there, and then all the kids involved, like, it sucks, man, and, um, but I would just, in the moment, I would reshape stuff to gratitude, or try and just, if something come up and tried to overwhelm me, I would just start, I'm grateful for the trees, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for my lawnmower, and I would, pull myself out of it right and um but whatever so I go back to, to group therapy the, the next week and um I know I'm gonna leave um but we go through group therapy and <laughs> and then at the very end I'm like I'm done and then I remember he was like uh he's like you can't do that dude you can't you can't just get up and leave and say you're not coming back I said yeah I can I was like, but I, I was like, all these people in here has paid their money to come sit here and talk about stuff. He's like, well, you should have brought it up there. The thing I said, why would I do that? So I'm not wasting their money or time. And these are just my perspectives. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Um, 
but to say, but I will say this, you know, like, um, that woman, she did say, um, she said, I used to call you the angry man. You're not angry anymore. I said, I know. I know. And that's when I knew, like, this is real. And then whatever it was was bigger than me. And uh, I didn't change that on my own. There's no way. There was some something changed it. Because I was angry. Boy, was I angry at everything. And everyone. And uh, it was gone. And no one, no one's really going to know the truth about it. Except me. And... Um, but I still remember. <sighs> I called you the angry man. And you're not angry anymore. And that made everything okay. It really did. Um, It really did, man. And it's so, yeah, that's so weird. Everything happened the way it had to. And, um, I didn't see it then, I see it now. Um, and whatever, man, and I hope those people that in there get better, man, and I, um, uh, life is tough. Life is freaking tough. And I, I don't, I don't, like, I, I've had... You know, people like, I wish you'd come back to group, or, or, you know, like, you'd come back to group, it's cool. Um, I just can't do it. Like, at least not, I don't see any point of it. Um, maybe, maybe I should, actually, but, um, you know, maybe I'll have my own group therapy, man. You just come, don't even pay me. We'll just, free. I'll freely give you my time, and uh, you freely give me your time. We don't even need money involved. Um, because time is important. I don't know. I mean, I keep talking about crap that's free and then I'm going to be <laughs> broke. <laughs> but that's fine, man. That's fine. I don't know. I don't know the right answer with that. I don't know, dude. Maybe the universe is going to hook me up, take care of me, and then I don't have to ever worry about it. Just because I just don't care. I got all these things I want to do, but I, they all have to be free, man. Because time's the only currency that matters. Time. Where do you put your time? And it does suck when someone doesn't give you your time. Um, I, I, I do hate it. Um, and I, Really, I don't even care. Um, sometimes, a lot of times. The majority of the time, but... But everyone wants time from somebody, and um, that'd be nice to have. I guess, you know, I look back, and my, my, you know, my mom probably wanted time for me, and I didn't give it to her, so I guess I'm just getting my karma right now, and um, it sucks, it's hard. I understand it. Whatever though, I um, uh, <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird because like, man, I 
It's crazy. Crazy when you when you love yourself, man, and uh, you truly trust yourself. I I'm kind of weird right now. It's not that I don't trust myself. Um, it's just two worlds. It's two ideals. It's two perspectives that I'm battling. Not um, that I don't trust myself in either way. It's just. Like I said, I've always just had a problem of walking away. Um, I don't know why. Maybe I should read a book or something that tells me, like, the name of the book should just be Walk Away. <laughs> Alright, F it. I don't know. Mm. It's a beautiful day. My eyes are watering. I truly love myself. I'm so weird. It's weird that, uh, man, <laughs> to give someone blind trust is crazy. It's funny, because I did it. <laughs> I did it. It's so weird. I gave myself blind trust, and then I instantly gave it to somebody else. <laughs> and I don't even feel regret. Like, I... Cause I just I gave it away like it's too late now. Like I I trust like I, that's weird to do be able to do that to give someone blind trust and completely trust in the process, not even to know how the outcome is, but you trust it. Days go by, time goes by, and it's like man, I still trust you. <laughs> I'm weird, dude. I don't even know. I don't know. Today's beautiful though. My life is beautiful. All of this is beautiful. And, and the more I talk, the more I can go back and, like, look at everything and go, oh, man, that was fire. Like, that was perfect. Like, it had to be that way because I had to learn that lesson to get me to here now. And then it had to be that way. Boom. And um, I have no regrets with that. I have no regrets, really. That's hard to say. I have no regrets, really. Um, I have, I'm sorry for things. Um... But I have zero regrets. Um, and uh, life will play out the way it's supposed to play out. And that's what I'm understanding. Like, I'm ultimately not really in control of this world. Um, I'm in control of mine. Kind of, but not really. Um, because things come into my world, like people and... Uh, and I'm not really in control of it. I just have, to, I just have, I can control how I respond. Um, and I'm trying to respond instead of react to things now. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird. To, to blindly trust someone, it's fire. <laughs> if I only trust myself, and then. Blindly trust my mirror. That's fire. Who knows what will happen with that? I don't know. Maybe they were just lessons. Um, but I truly hope the best for the for all my mirrors. I truly hope the best, and I I just hope that they're happy. Um, I hope they grow. I hope they can become max potential with or without me. Um, that's really all that matters. And it's so funny because I just mirror people so hard. And uh, I guess it's that chameleon in me. Um, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I had to be the way I had to be. Was I had to be able to collect um, all the attributes of everybody. And so when I go through life and I meet new people, I can mirror them. And I can break that um, that vulnerability because 
I, I have something to speak about that touches them, right? That they understand that I know what, what they're feeling. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same, um, because it can't be. However, um, uh, it just gives me that ability. That's why people talk to me about everything. It's so funny. I love watching people. I love watching people, uh, <laughs> I love watching people get riled up. Like, it's the most, it's the, it's fire to me. Like, I, cause I don't, um. I don't call it, like, anger or rage anymore. I call it passion. Like, when I see someone get emotional, like, I call it passion. And it's just a major turn-on, I think, for me. Just, like, to see someone's passion, to see someone's fire. Um, like, and, and then I don't react. <laughs> uh, now, I, I try not to react. Um, it just kind of depends on the situation. But usually it's not It's not towards me. It, it's, uh, they... Like when they tell stories and they get, they start. I, I can see them reliving it, and I'm staring in their eyes, and I can just feel it, and um, it's fire. Cause uh, yeah, it's 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 just passion. It's like real. That's real. The emotion's real. Like the feelings are real, and I love it. Um, man, it's it's beautiful. You know, and then other people put them down. Like they'll say they're crazy or some BS. Like I'm like, well, no, man, they ain't crazy. They got passion for something. That's, they got passion. Look at it differently. They're passionate about this. That's why they're getting riled up. I mean, as long as you ain't calling me, like, cussing me or something, you know, I'm going to defend myself a little bit, put you in your place maybe, but, um, because I don't deserve to be cussed at for no reason. If I got a, re if there's a reason, I guess bring it, but, um, I need to get checked, but, um, yeah, I'm just trying, I'm like picturing like photo, like memories and movies in my head of like people just getting passionate and like, I love it. People getting passionate, getting angry, but that's passion. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, man. It's all about shaping that perspective and how you respond. Definitely, I need to go cut some grass. Um, that was a good talk. <clears throat> Thank you for the text. Um, I needed it. I needed it. Um, who knows what's going to happen the rest of the day? Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? All we have is time. We don't know how much time we have. And all people want is, is to be loved, man. <laughs> to be loved. And if someone walks up to you and... um. Talks to you, like, just remember, man, they're, um... Knowing or unknowingly, giving you all of them. <laughs> They're giving you their time. They're giving you every experience up until that point. They're giving you all of them. It's freaking beautiful, dude. It's fire. And then when you become aware of that, you're like, you know what? They're giving me their time. They're giving me all of their attention right now. I'm going to do the same. And then intentionally do it back. And who knows, man? Just love each other. Just be in the moment. And um, it's all that freaking matters. It doesn't matter about money, all this fake bullshit. Um, because people matter. You don't know what they're going through, man. And you don't know you just staring them in the eyes and truly giving your attention to them and just letting them know that they're seen and that they're heard and that their points are valid. I mean, that, you don't even know, man. They could be going through some hard-ass stuff and um, no one to talk to. And they don't know how to ask for help like I don't. And um, and then even then, it's like, what are you going to help me with? Because it's all in my own head. And all I really want is uh, is someone's time. 
or to be hugged. Oh God, to be truly hugged. Or just hold somebody's hand. Who cares? Who cares if it's two dudes or two girls? Who cares? Like, just freaking love them. It didn't matter when we were little kids. We just, everyone needs that human interaction, man. That love, that transfer of energy between two people. That's why service animals are so crazy now. Like, they're everywhere. They got all kinds. Birds, dogs, who knows, hamsters. I, th I saw a picture of someone had a freaking peacock on a plane. That was a service animal, a peacock. That's fire, that's cool. I'll be peacocking all around town right now. And, um, it's cool, but it sucks. It sucks that we can't find that, um, that in other people now. So we're having to have dogs and cats and, and peacocks and, um, who knows, ostr ostriches, maybe some kangaroos, them little baby ass short arms. I guess that would be like, if you, if I was your service animal, then I would, you could just call me a kangaroo because I got them little bitty arms. <laughs> But I'll put you in my pouch and hold you. I'll protect you. I love you. <laughs> Little bitty short arms. But I love you, man. I'm just say, you need me, call me, reach me out, reach out, whatever. I'll listen. I'll take time. All I got is time. All that I care about is time. One day I may be hungry. I don't know. But I will never regret um, me giving you time. And I'll never regret someone giving me time. Never. And it's crazy, man, because now I look back and it's like, man, people gave me so much time and I, uh, I flicked it away. Um, I didn't think I was worthy of it. I didn't think I was worthy of people's time. And no, 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 no. We're all worthy of each other's time. And honestly, anytime someone someone uh, gives you time, it's equal exchange. It has to be because you're giving everything and they're giving everything. Even if we don't know it. But we have to give it. Um, man, that's another lesson I just learned. But, man, I think that grass is a little dry air. Dryer. That wind blowing. Pulling that moisture out. Go put on some dirty clothes and some clothes I can get dirty and go to work. <sighs> Life is beautiful. Life is cool. <laughs> I am a fire starter, though. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's it's definitely good. Um, it's good even if it, 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 if if the effects like uh, push people away from me um, because I ignite things in people and um, man, you gotta face it because I started a fire, bro. I started a fire. And you gotta face that fire. You have no choice. <laughs> you have no choice uh, but to face that fire. And um, I don't know if it's good or bad, um, but I think it gets you to your potential. I think I start fires in, in uh, people and um, it pushes them to potential. Whatever that may be, whatever outcomes, um, whatever people you gotta walk away from, it doesn't matter. Like. Um, 
whatever. Um, yeah, man, I'm a fire starter. It's not good or bad. I'm fl I'm flinging that little spark. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna have on this one. Uh, I'm gonna put my uh, one spark painting on this one. Um, Cause that's what it is. I've, I've. You give me your time, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna spark you. I'm gonna throw one spark in there. Cause it only takes one spark, man, to change everything. And that's what it did for me. One night, one spark of love, of watching. Random acts of kindness, man. One little spark that really tipped me over the edge. And, um... Changed everything for me. I can't... I can't even explain how much I've changed in a year or however long it's been. Um, I cannot. <laughs> I'm a totally different, totally different person. I'm the most sane I've ever been. And, um, I'm just battling the world, um, by myself, and that's difficult. I, I wish I had a partner here with me t to do it, um, because then it would be easy. Um, because right now I'm just... When I look around, I'm by myself, right? And, um... I think that's why you have partners, like, um... Because then you can, you, you can just look to your right or left, whichever side that they're on, and, um... Everything's okay. You're not alone. You know... You know you're gonna be there for them forever. Or, or through whatever, or through whatever time you guys are together, and, um... Hopefully... Um, that's the point of it. Um, and then they can do the same. You can grab your guns together and take on the world, bro. <laughs> it's fire. Ain't no way to stop you. But you can't do it by yourself. Well, you can, I guess, but... You affect less people. You can cover. You cover less ground. You get tired. You overthink stuff by yourself. You don't have um, another person's perspective to help you see things that you missed. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's why they made it. That's why the Earth is made the way it is. And... I don't know. Whatever, it's been fun. I'm gonna head to the house and... Get this thing posted and um, go cut some grass. Go take care of some stuff. But yeah, thanks for the text, man. Um, I appreciate it. Truly. I love ya. Love all y'all. Peace.